Okay, let's jump right in, Val and Mom. So we are starting here with Pouty Pink Blush Scents. So this is like reality, guys. I had this big intention to do another like sultry, fun look for you, but it was Valentine's Day and I was going to a kindergarten Valentine's party. So I'm doing my makeup for my real Valentine's Day because that's being a mom. So um, Pouty Pink's gonna be soft, it's gonna be subtle. It'll give me a little bit of pinky on my cheeks without being too overwhelming or bright. And so that's what we're using today. All right, next we're using Pearlizer because I love it and because I've never, ever found a look that doesn't require Pearlizer. I would love to just for fun, but Pearlizer makes me feel so pretty and dewy and like I am ready for the red carpet. So um, for me, Pearlizer always, if you don't have it, you need it. <laughs> All right, next we're going with Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. Now this is like a yellow-based more like a beigey, soft, reflective shadow. I'm just putting it in the inner corner of my eye, and then I'm going to do a little bit in the top um, part right underneath my brow, just for a little bit of reflection right in there. Um, this is going to be like a soft shimmer, so you'll be able to see it, but it's not going to be super reflective, super glittery. Next, I'm using Mulberry. I love Mulberry. I'm wearing a pink dress. You can see like the top of my shoulders, and so Mulberry is going to be the perfect mauve tone to break up the bottom of my lid with the top of my lid. Not going crazy with makeup, like I said, going to a kindergarten Valentine's Day party. So keeping it natural, but still want to look pretty put together and finished for all those moms who need to know how I did my makeup and where they can get it. Uh, next, I'm going in with our Rose Gold Shimmer. Now, this was released by Senegence in February. So this is new, and it's super fun. It is glittery. And so when I say glittery, I mean, guys, like this actually has like particles of glitter in it love it super fun for a kindergarten party um so i'm just putting it all over the middle of my lid to give me a little bit of that reflection um it's not super pigmented in terms of the rose gold you can see a little bit of the color but mostly you're adding some glitter to your lid and specifically the way that i'm applying it just kind of dabbing it on there to give me some more glitter so yay love the glitter next i'm going to do it on my cheek so, like I said, it doesn't give tons of pigment. It will add a little bit of color to my cheek, but not tons and tons. So I'm putting the glitter just right on the top of my cheekbone to add a little bit of, well, I keep saying it, but glitter <laughs> right on the top of my cheek. It's just going to kind of mesh with my pearlizer. Next, I'm going to use my chocolate cherry blush scents, and I'm just dabbing the side of my blush scents on my brush. I want to use this to give myself a little bit more of a cheekbone, but like a very natural cheekbone. I'm not trying to make like a super contoured face. Again, just natural. Going over to the elementary school today, keeping it pretty neutral. Next, I'm going to take that rose gold shimmer again, and I'm using it with a dense rounded brush to give myself a little bit of liner on the bottom. I want to have that glitter everywhere, but I'm not trying to like really line my eyes super crazy. So using that brush to do it, then I'm going to use my angled brush with my onyx as always to give myself a little bit of a top eyeliner. I like to have it slightly pulled out at the edge of my eye, but definitely not like a winged liner look, just something to kind of define the eye. Um, like I said, this is for school, this is for fun. This look will take me into the evening for sure um, for my awesome parent-teacher conferences I have. And then we have family date night tonight instead of date night, date night. Um, so yeah, just kind of getting the complete look, showing you guys everything and what real life looks like is a mom of three trying to keep it together <laughs> next we're doing lash scents always on the bottom lashes to make those eyes pop um and i love that it's waterproof so no matter what these parties entail today i am gonna have it together and here comes an eyelash love that <laughs> and um i really just like how mascara kind of completes your look makes you feel like you've got it all together. Now you guys know I have extensions on, but you can actually put mascara on your extensions as long as you're using Foops Remover because it's oil free and it's not going to break up the bond you have. Next, I'm taking down this ponytail. I'm going to keep a ponytail for the day, but I'm trying to make it look a little bit more finished. I still want it out of my face. I'm running super behind, trying to get the tutorial done before I head off to school. So I'm just going to do a little ponytail that's going to be a little bit lower, but with a little bit of height and volume in the back so I still feel finished. So the way that I like to do it is just get my shape that I kind of want, keep my hand braced around that hair, and then pull up the extra hair to give myself a good amount of body. And then I'm going to take my elastic and wrap it around just how you would normally do your regular ponytail. 
but then I'm gonna hold it with my hand and pull out the hair with my other hand. So this is just giving me that extra body, you can see it, it's like creating a better shape around my face. I'm gonna pull out some hairs around my face and call it a day. Guys, I took these pictures at the very end of the night because I was running so late that I didn't have time to do it right going to the party, but you can see how my makeup lasts. You can see my glitter and it's wonderful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.